first attempt with this longer orange 10 to get a test print off, we had a, a failure. And what actually happened is it, it stuck very nicely to the build plate, but it also stuck very nicely to the FEP film. So what ended up happening was it printed this little, looks like a saucer almost, but in the process of doing that, um, it stretched out our FEP film to where it's pretty much uh, unusable now. So we're going to replace the FEP film. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. On This is a, a pretty general process, about the same idea on, on just about every uh, resin printer. So if I do it with this, this bet while I can, uh, should kind of show you how it's done. First thing you do is to clean up as much of the uh, resin as you can. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to come around here and loosen up all these screws. There's two sets of screws. This first set I'm taking off, hold this ring on, on the bottom. And what this ring does is the ring that actually creates tension in the sheet. I'm fairly tight. So I'm going to To switch tools there because the uh, cheap tool that came with the machine, the, <coughs> the hex tip stripped out of it. Not surprising, they generally don't include the best best quality tools. All right, so now we take this plate off. Uh, you see, you got your FEP sheet on there, you held on by another whole set of screws. So, take all these off too. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe some of that resin off while I'm in here. All right, now we got the two halves separated. Uh, we'll go ahead and clean the resin off those. Now, the FEP film, as you can see, it's got a kind of a, you know, cutout shape, rounded corners, cutouts around where the, uh, the bolts go to hold it down. You don't need to worry about cutting that out. I'll show you how, you know, we'll trim that to size in a minute. Um, you don't need to order a, some kind of a pre-cut sheet of FEP. You can just use bulk <coughs> FEP film. A lot cheaper. Get all the resin off of there. Just get the rest of this resin off of here. All right, so we just take our FEP film, just cut, uh, let's say, I don't know, an inch or so oversized, we'll lay it over the bottom plate. Make sure I got the right plates here. Yep, that's the, that's the top plate. Lay it over the bottom plate. We'll have the um, countersunk holes facing down. Put the top plate on there. Now, we don't want this to be completely tight. We want a little bit of slack in there. 
I found usually about a water bottle cap. It's a real, real tough, uh, real exact scientific measure there. But that usually gives us enough slack. Center that. Center these holes on there. And you don't have to get all this perfect, you just, but we can get. I don't know if you can see that or how well you can see that there, but we got plenty of overlap on all four sides, so we'll be able to secure that tight into place. Now you don't need to get a lot of tension here at this point. In fact, you want that little bit extra material in there. Uh, there's a tension you'll do later with the other piece. Now to make these easier to start the screws, I like to use a uh, make sure our holes are lined up there. There we go. I like to use a pointed pair of tweezers start the holes. I'm going to just start four of them for now. Take our short screws and go back. Same thing there, just put the four. Push through that FEP. There we go. This isn't a super precise thing. You don't have to worry about tensions or anything here. Like I said, you just, you know, these, especially these first four, just gonna hold everything in place. So we get the uh, tensioning ring on there. Those four are on there, so that piece of plastic will be pretty much held where it needs to be. Uh, go around and put the rest of the screws in. We'll get them good and tight.
tight. Now the four, or the, <coughs> excuse me, all the screws are in there, all nice and tight, and should have a good, pretty good, uh, reasonably even sheet on there. It's got a little nick in it already from, from storage, but that's okay, it's way off to the side, so we don't have to worry about it. Next thing we're going to do is trim it down to size, so just use a, a utility knife for that. Go around the outside edge. Use a utility knife, exacto knife, whatever you have on hand. I'm not too particular about that. Something sharp. And this doesn't have to be exact either. Just make it kind of clean so it doesn't look too bad. trimmed off. Also we're going to need to push those holes out for the uh, screws to hold down the, the vat. We take it, put it countersunk side out onto the vat. Take our long screws. Of course, I've got to. You can push that through eventually, but it's going to go faster if you start it. Get each one of these started, but don't tighten them all the way yet. Because by tightening these, what you're going to be doing is actually putting tension on the the drum on the FDP sheet. So you're going to want to do that evenly. So we'll get them all started. It's always good when you have enough screws. So every every hole has a screw in it again. I'm notorious for losing things. So alright. Now you're just gonna I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it, make sure it looks fairly even all the way around. There's no no one side's pulled down more than the other. Um, start putting a little tension into these. Now I've seen some manufacturers that have like a specific pattern they want you to do it in. Uh, others don't really specify. I kind of do it in a cross pattern, starting with the two outside ones. And the center ones, I'm turning them about the same amount each time. About a turn, turn and a half or so. And the idea is just to kind of keep an equal tension. Again, this isn't a super critical, you know, there's not, like a, you know, it doesn't have to be dead on exact, but our goal is for this FEP sheet 
on here to be stretched out to where it's nice and tight, kind of drum tight, kind of like that. And that, that actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna go around and give everything just a little bit of an extra tweak. Good and tight. Now you'll know it's one of those things where uh, different people have different kind of, I guess, tightness levels they like them. Some of them like them super, super tight. Some of them like them a little looser. You don't want it too loose. Give you trouble releasing. You don't want it too tight or it's going to put too much stress on the FEP sheet. But we're done. That's all there is to it. FEP sheet has been replaced. And it goes, it's about the same, like I mentioned, on uh, on just about every uh, printer like this. Every SLA printer, very similar system to that for, for uh, tightening up the FEP sheet. As you can see, it's not a difficult thing to do, and it's not an expensive thing to replace. So when they start getting uh, scratched up, scuffed up, dented, don't be cheap like me, just go ahead and replace them. So.